On Tuesday, Rep. Matt Gates, Republican Florida, took to Twitter to publicly challenge House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, expressing his frustration over what he perceives as inaction regarding the investigation into Hunter Biden. Gates has drafted a subpoena for Hunter Biden and is urging McCarthy to sign and date it, signaling a growing rift within the GOP over how to handle the Biden family. Gates wrote on Twitter, after eight months of inaction, I have taken the liberty of drafting a subpoena to Hunter Biden. It simply requires your date and signature. Millions of Americans are wondering if you're serious. The subpoena is in line with the House of Representatives' duty to investigate alleged misconduct by President Joe Biden. The document calls for Hunter to produce a comprehensive list of documents and communications, ranging from email correspondence with Joe Biden from January 2008 to the present, to records of phone calls, contracts, agreements, and financial records related to both domestic and foreign business partnerships. Furthermore, the subpoena demands Hunter Biden's appearance before the Committee on the Judiciary of the House of Representatives. The detailed schedule attached to the subpoena underscores the depth of the inquiry, with a focus on Hunter's communications with his father and his business dealings both domestically and abroad. This includes requests for email correspondence, text messages, call logs, and any related documents from January 2008 to the present. The move by Gates is a clear indication of the growing impatience within certain factions of the GOP regarding the pace and direction of investigations into the Biden family. Gates is not only pressuring McCarthy but also signaling to the American public that he is taking a proactive stance on the issue. The dynamics within the GOP are complex, however, many support a rigorous investigation into the Bidens. The ongoing political battle in Washington has both parties jockeying for position and advantage. The Biden family, particularly Hunter, has been a focal point for many Republicans, who believe that there is evidence of wrongdoing that needs to be brought to light. Last week, Gates took direct aim at McCarthy on the House floor, accusing him of failing to uphold the agreement that led to his election as Speaker in January. Mr. Speaker, you are out of compliance with the agreement that allowed you to assume this role. He went on to list the perceived failures of McCarthy's tenure, including the lack of a vote on term limits, balanced budgets, and the full release of the January 6 tapes. Gates also criticized the Speaker for not holding the Biden family accountable, saying there has been insufficient accountability for the Biden crime family. Highlighting the rapidly approaching September 30 deadline, Gates criticized the leadership for not preparing adequately. There is no way to pass all the individual appropriations bills now, he lamented. He accused Joe Biden of converting the vice presidency into an ATM machine for virtually his entire family. He called for Biden's impeachment and expressed frustration at the slow pace of action from the Republican leadership. We must move faster, he urged. At least if we take votes, the American people get to see who's fighting for them, he said. He hinted at the possibility of multiple attempts to vacate the chair and even suggested that Democrats might come to McCarthy's rescue. If that were to happen, Gates vowed to lead the resistance to this uniparty. Gates made his intentions clear, I know that Washington isn't a town where people are known for keeping their word. Well, Speaker McCarthy, I'm here to hold you to yours.